That music what's up what's up what's up another episode of hot pudge wednesday one-on-one -on -one with pudge fernandez the new cut yes it, it, it almost looks like a baldy but it's not it's faded but the lighting in here is crazy so i oh, fuck i almost look, look like i'm in basic training again it looks crazy but hey let's get this show started right off the bat we got a great 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 guest we go way back to the open mics we were little open micers Back in the day, now we're all grown up doing shows and Instagram lives. A very good friend of ours was, uh, we did a show either, was it early this year or late last year? Somewhere in Queens, I had her on. And uh, yeah, we killed it. There, one and only, Nikki Sunshine, what's up? Hey, what's going How on? How you doing? It looks like you're either in a locker room or like in a closet full of jerseys. What's going on? Yeah, this is my backdrop. I needed. You know what I'm saying? My studio. Oh, that's your studio look. I got you. That's my, I, my studio. I look like I'm super dark. Like I have a dark filter. You look nice and bright, but I look not that I'm dark. I mean, I am a darker, darker too, but like the room that I'm in dark, right? Like I'm in some type of shape closet. Uh, you're all right. I, I actually I like the background. You got the square thing going. It looks like a little neon thingy. Yeah. But you're good. You're good. You're good. I just got the I got the special light that I got pinned oh. on the wall. Like I'm really trying to make something here. I don't know. You know, I got the light. I got... Say again? What kind of light did you get? Uh it's uh, some kind of LED light. It's a box that I bought a long time ago. I didn't get to use. I was going to take it to uh, do some filming uh at some at some spots. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get to use it. It was in a box and then when I started doing this I took a couple of thumbtacks, stuck it to the ceiling oh, and the corn. Now it's it's my lighting in here. Okay, it looks nice. Jerseys in the back. Um, I needed something. I got to make it look professional. And I, initially, if you can tell, it used to be a camouflage. It used to be camouflage. This was my background. Oh. It was like an army blanket, but then it looked too green, so I threw up some jerseys. Uh -huh. and, and whatever. It, it, just I to give it some, you know. I like Texture. There we go. Something like that. I can never get the framing right. Oh. But anyways, here we are. How yeah. are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I mean, time is going by too quickly in my world. I don't know about in your world, but time is going by so fast. Are you, are you maintaining the quarantine life? Like, I mean... Yeah, I mean, pretty much. I just go out to go to the store, like run basic errands. But like in terms of socializing, I, I don't do it. Today, somebody asked me to do a show and on August 1st, like it was like an outside thing. Okay. But I declined it because I helped to take care of my mother-in-law and she has pre-existing conditions. And I'm like, the money that I was getting paid wasn't really worth it. Plus, right. it's going to be balls outside in August. Like, I don't want to be... I just, it's not, it's a whole bunch for very little. So I declare. No, no. I'm, I'm, thank you for sharing. Um, yeah, I'm like, I was hyped. First of all, I got pre existing conditions too. Mm -hmm. So my own doctor told me, because I'm on, I'm, I'm getting unemployment. You know, it took a minute. Mm -hmm. It took a minute, but I'm finally, you know, I'm getting it. And mm -hmm. she's like, yo, hush. Don't go back to work. Because you got pre existed. Because I was thinking maybe by September the city will be rocking and rolling. Yeah. But if you don't have to, just wait. Mm -hmm. Wait. Because you got the pre existing conditions. Don't take any chances. That's what the doctor said. Yeah. Yeah. Because I got pre existing conditions. I got the, the high blood pressure. Uh, I'm pre diabetic. Uh -huh. And I have like asthma. I get, you know, like respiratory. Yeah. No, no. So, yeah, I'm three out of four. Uh, you know, the only thing I'm not is elderly. But. Right. But three out of four is still, you know, so. And I'm also was in the process, you know, I had this plan. I reached out to some bars and some individuals because I know, you know, with the with the pandemic and everything being shut down, businesses 
are getting hit hard. And I wanted to give something back to some restaurants and lounges and bars and do a free show for them. Yeah. You know, so just like a free show to kick off their business, help bring business back, also knock some rust off. Cause I know I'm rusty as fuck. I haven't been on stage for a minute like right. everyone else. So yeah. yeah, I was looking forward to that, but in the back of my head, it's like, wait, you know, it's like, I'm excited. But then I was like, and you hear these numbers spiking all over the yeah. country. Mm -hmm. And even the governor is, is about to take a side step and be like, you know what, let's hold back on the indoor dining. And that, yeah. So, so yeah, I might, you know, it's so dicey. It's like, ah, you gotta, you gotta take your time with it. It's like your health, your health is everything. You know, I remember when things first started happening, that was March 12th. I had three events scheduled that day. I was supposed to go to Gracie Mansion um, for, for Women's History Month. Then wow. I show downtown on East 4th that, um, Oh, no. Hold on a second. Give it a second. Give it a second. Oh, got a little. No. Hey, Nikki, if you can hear me, I'm having a little uh, issue. Um, you're coming in. You're frozen. Just so you know, you're frozen. I can't, you're, I can't hear you or I can see you, but it's a frozen picture. I don't know if you got a bad reception where you're at. Or maybe, it's, maybe it's a storm. I don't, every time that, every, I don't know. It's the second before it happened before. Every time there's a storm, there seems to be some kind of weird reception issue. But I, you're still there. You're just frozen. Nikki, if you can hear me, I, I, you're frozen and I can't hear you. I just see the little thing spinning that is trying to recapture. If you can hear me, log out. Uh, usually that helps. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, you heard me. I like this. Yes, I've had this before. This is not the first time. And yeah, usually just log off and then log back on. So click back on when you get a second, or maybe, I don't know. It happened once before. I think it's, and it was during a storm too. So maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. So let's get her back on. Love this technology. It's awesome, but it's just not perfect. There oh, you go. I didn't even realize I was talking and talking. I didn't even realize. Yeah, yeah, no. You were talking about Gracie Mansion. You were supposed to oh, be there yeah. for one month uh, in March. And then two other shows, but, you know, my friends, they were like, cancel. And then Jamie, he was like, no, just cancel. It's not worth it. Cancel. That was March 12th. And, you know, I haven't really, I haven't really even been thinking about the stage much. You know, everything is going to change. Even the way comedy clubs, what is the comedy club? I mean, on so many levels, the comedy clubs have been hit. Because we rely on to a lot of tourist traffic. We rely on people vacationing, people that have extra money, even New Yorkers that have extra money. Are they going to come after that? No, I had to, I mean, I know, I know what you, I mean, that's, that's one of the things I was debating myself with um i was debating about going back to work because in the daytime i drive uber so even if i was to go back to work say august or september like what is the status what is the uber stat i mean we rely 50 percent is tourism are they going to be here and then the new yorkers are here are they going to have money to take an uber you know are they going to be are they going to want to take an uber are they you know i don't know how strapped they are for cash uh, Broadway officially shut down till they said 2021. So no Broadway is going to affect New York a lot because everyone comes to the shows. Now, on the other hand, that might be good for comedy clubs because if Broadway is closed, but 
Uh, okay, she left again. I oh, know lots of technical difficulties today. Damn, man, I just got my hair cut too. I want to just to be sharp. There she goes. We're gonna we're gonna do this all night. I don't give a shit. We're gonna do it all night. I'm telling you, last time this happened, uh, there was a storm. I don't. Maybe it has to do with the storm. There you go. Yeah. I just, I moved because I was downstairs. So I moved upstairs to see if that would be a better connection. Can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. Okay. Yeah, maybe it was where I was. Could be, could be. It's yeah. hard. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not technologically savvy. So mm -hmm. I don't know. That's, all, that's the only positive note about this whole Corona thing. Uh, since the shutdown, I've kind of reexamined my comedy career. And I saw what was missing and the technology and the creation of content and social media is what I lacked of and I'm tackling right now. That's why I'm doing these shows. Right. How long have you been so, doing? Uh, this is my 15th episode. Wow, that's, that's great. 15. Yeah, yeah. I started once a week and now I'm doing it twice a week and I'm doing it for the whole summer. Uh, so I, I'm doing Insta. I, I started with... Um, I did a Facebook Live every Sunday from a different location in New York City. I did a few episodes of those. Uh, Instagram Live interviews, uh, Sundays and Wednesdays. And then I had a, a little show, per se, uh, called Six Feet, Six Questions, where I went around New York City to comedians and to their houses, you know, where they live in the neighborhood. And, you know, with the mask on, six feet, I'd ask them six questions. Like a little street one on one. So yeah, I've been kind of busy. Oh man, you there? <clears throat> Keeps freezing. I'm telling you, it's got to be the weather. It's got to be the storm, or so, it's, I don't know. You're almost there. It's like every couple of seconds it moves, and then it, it, it re-registers, and, and then it moves again. There you go. There you Damn. Almost. Almost. I'm telling you, it just, it's, it's amazing. I've always said technology is awesome, but it's not perfect. It can be a pain in the fucking ass. And it's like every week I'm learning something different. I've already got kicked off of Facebook for playing the wrong music. Instagram already threatened me. Because it had the wrong music on in the background. Apparently, there's some copywriting issues. Uh, that's why, um, for a lot of you who watch, I had jazz on. So far, the jazz music is good. I'm not getting any threats from Instagram. Uh, apparently, I had classical on. And it, I, first, I got busted with U2. I played U2 on a Sunday. I played U2 on a Sunday. And they got pissed, and I got erased that whole episode. And then I went to classical, and classical was good and for a while. But then I guess they played the wrong Beethoven, and now I'm playing jazz. Mm -hmm. You're back. So, right. yeah, I mean, the, uh, uh, a lot of failure and a lot of learning. Yeah. When it comes to technology. So, mm -hmm. and, and like you were telling me before early in the day, you didn't know how to jump in. Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how to do that either. So, so yeah. Weeks, that's great. Yeah, no shows, but I've been busy with the technology. I got a computer. I got to learn how to edit. You know, anything. It's all about just the comedy. You got to keep busy, keep the mind going. Yeah. You don't, yeah, you don't want to lose it. Because we, like you said, we don't know what the hell is going to happen with these shows. I really don't know. No, you don't know. You really don't. I mean, I mean, and do you think there'll even be spots for us in the clubs? Because there's that rumor that if the upper echelon of comics are not getting coliseums, they're going to be coming down to our level and we're going to get bumped out. See what I'm saying? I mean, I haven't even, I haven't heard of that. I haven't heard of that. And I don't even, I haven't even, my mind hasn't even gotten that far because you know, let's just talk about Broadway. Broadway is going to be closed until January at the minimum. 
And then uh, they were talking about movie theaters. People going to movie theaters are going to have to wear masks and stuff. Who <sighs> wants to wear masks to a comedy club? Yeah. Like, who wants to do that? And then isn't talking on stage similar to singing? So you're talking, and there are all these particles, and some of these places are very contained. Like, think about New York Comedy Club on 24th and 2nd. Yeah. That's, that's not a big room for 80 people. To fit a great, in. a great room to perform in, but yeah. and and the in a predicament like this, it, it yeah, not even that. And then they'll probably have to cut capacity. So where they had eighty people, now they might only be able to get thirty people in, and that really messes up the business. <laughs> the business <laughs> clubs. Who knows how long they're even going to last if they're. <laughs> that they were and that goes from you know Broadway to Carolina to the and to any of these clubs. I mean they all have different business models but with half the patrons and then travel isn't the same. The tourism flow isn't gonna be the same. We don't even know in January what a ban Europe that they won't let us into their countries because of the COVID numbers so you know I just think they're on a pause deep I think deep into 2021 and with this resurgence wow we can imagine what things are going to be like so that's going to suck part of it. that's going to suck and I tell you what as, as a comedian I know a lot of us are rethinking because I've always heard that before, you know, when we're talking to comics and we're talking about the future and what we do, I've heard, you know, some people say, hey, don't put all your eggs in one basket, do other things. But we're yeah. so committed to the craft. We're like, no, you know, I want to stay a comedian. You know, we're so committed, but we're seeing that financially how it affects us. All those road comics that yeah. don't do anything else other than comedy are fucked. Yeah, and, and the and the comics who grasp technology sooner than the rest of us who have podcasts are okay because they've already established so they have another form of making money through podcasts and and their little commercials and all that stuff. So yeah. some guys are winning and some are not, and I'm already thinking of what my next move is because I can't. Well, not that I was making big money in comedy. But yeah. I have to think ahead, and also I'm not. I can't rely on Uber now because that's tourism based in New York. But like, what? Yeah. What's the next? Like, I gotta have multiple sources of income. Yeah, it just makes you think, you know. For me personally, comedy was a, it a, was a revenue stream. It was just one revenue stream out of all the different things that I've been doing to make money. So the fact that things are shut down it's not hurting me as much as it's hurting a friend of mine who, you know, had a good gig b booked at a casino out West. And then, you know, it abruptly got canceled and, you know, they lost that. But even more than that, what about the comics that were cruise ship comics that they strictly performed on the cruise ships? You know, what are they going to do now? Because the cruise ship industry is not going to be the same. It's not going to be the volume of trips so I guess are those comics going to go now to the clubs? In my opinion, the clubs, are, that's not a viable source of income. Unless you have other revenue streams, it just, it's not going to make sense. Now that clubs know that they're a glut of even more performers, then they're probably going to say, okay, well, we used to pay 50 a spot. Now we're going to pay 25. You can't pay New York rent off of that. I don't know how they're going to cut it, but there's going to, I don't, it's either going to be less money, less spots, less shows, or maybe there'll be more shows. I don't know, but it's going to, it's, it's scary. You know, we're waiting. I think, I think sports, especially major league baseball is going to be a huge test because they are, it's official. They're going to start playing baseball at the end of this month. And you know what I'm saying? So they're going to be doing some traveling. That might be, 
a huge test. Basketball starts at the end of the month. Uh, you know, think, just in my opinion, I think we're gonna see just like several basketball players tested positive. I mean, how can these industries move forward when you don't really have the patronage of butts and seats in in arenas? You know, that's a huge chunk of the income. Of course, no. you know, people are at home watching, but it's it's not it's not the same. It's not the same. No. Fall and in, in, in basketball, then do you think that in person events at comedy is gonna be a There you go. Ah, oh, I feel like I need a remote control for this shit. <laughs> God damn it. I need a new battery. It's got to be the storm. This happened before, too. Shout out to Rondell. I see you watching. Thank you, Rondell. have you on too. You're on my list already. You're on my list. Boy, COVID, COVID, COVID. We got the Corona connection. Corona's fucking with my connection. Fuck you, Corona. Messing me up with Nikki Sunshine. I keep moving from one part of the house to the next. Hoping <laughs> I can get some type of... This is my third location. Well, I'm, I'm getting to know your house. It's very nice. Did you decorate it yourself? No, Jamie decorated it. How's, how are you guys doing? How is it with the newlywed? I mean, you guys, what, a year, right? Um, yeah, a year um, on Monday. Wow. And then you get hit with this corona. Talk about now you guys. Wow. We're just house, learning how to coexist in our space. And, you know, my, my stepson is here and my mother-in-law is here and... You know, we're just all helping and encouraging each other. It's no drama. You know, it's kind of cool because we don't really get the opportunity to really kind of be home with each other in normal circumstances. It took strange circumstances to slow us down and say, okay, well, this is what family life is like. I cook dinner every day. You know, I, I, I you know, spend time with my mother-in-law somewhat. But it's funny because with Jamie, it's like I don't really see him and he doesn't really see me because his office is in one place and I'm working in another. And so sometimes I'm 1 o'clock at night and then it's time to go to sleep. Did, I, did you lose me? Uh, you're on and off, on and off, in and out. You're in and out. Shit, there it went. Keep spinning, I'm telling you. Damn. Tell you what, if this doesn't work out, I'm going to rebook you anyway. I'll bring you back. Mrs. Esso, good luck, y'all. Understand the stress as I'm an event. Yeah, we're all going to be hurting together. Facts of fact. Uh, it's, it's a shit sandwich, and we're all taking a bite. We're all taking a very, very big bite. Uh, damn, it's scary, man. Because no Broadway. Because, yeah, no Broadway is going to affect Manhattan. People may not come. I don't know. I'm, if people do come, they're going to be forced into comedy clubs. But are they going to come? <laughs> I don't know. And it's cool that life with family, again, talk about just, you know, from one minute, there you go. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, for, from one minute, we're just going day to day. The next minute, you know, pump the brakes. You're, you're living with, you're living 24 seven with the same people in the same space. And it, it's pretty, it's, it's interesting. You know, there's a lot of positive into it, but. It's just really wow. Like, 
this is how it was, Little House on the Prairie. I mean, we're, we went from the 21st century to the 19th century in a matter of weeks. And yeah. What have you been doing? occupied are you working on anything or what's no on? just uh, strictly all the t all the all the instagram and the and the technology I got my youtube channel going just learning just learning and creating content uh i'm trying to lead this into a podcast hopefully in september october so this is all kind of a lead up hopefully to a podcast just learning how to use this instagram deal with the technology issues the facebook i got to get on tiktok uh, in a daytime, I'm basically home. You know, uh, the only place I go is either to the supermarket uh, or to the park, and I'll do some laps. That's it. There's there's really nowhere else to go. <laughs> I mean, shit. Just yeah, just try not to get fatter. All right, I'm already big, so I, I don't know about losing weight. But I'm trying not to gain. I think that's the goal. Trying not to gain. If I can come out of this the same, it's a win. Because I know a lot of people are gaining weight. I go to the track, do some laps. So, immune system, you know, all about the immune system. So, yeah, I'm trying to eat right. But, yeah, step one, don't gain weight. Don't gain any more. And then step two, let me see if I can lose some pounds. Maybe by September, I'll have a, a nice smaller frame. Hopefully hit the stage looking sharper, looking better, looking thinner. That would be very nice. That's my goal. Exercising the brain and the technology and all this learning. Now I just need to exercise my body. Are you gaining weight, Sunshine? It seems like I have, um, but... I've been going to the track like today. Yep. I went to the track and I try to stay for an hour. I do intermittent fasting. Um, but it seems like I'm I am I'm getting. I don't know if it's just middle age, but my well, because we're older, we're older, so our metabolism slows down. Yeah. So like I try. I try to really watch my, you know, but some. I'll have a treat, but during the day I try to stick to a certain routine of you know, because I'm short. So, you know, a short person and a tall person gaining weight, I gain ten pounds, a tall person gained ten pounds. It looks totally different. And everything goes to my midsection. Not a good look. I know. Me too. Yeah. And that one I was like day, you know, having something to drink every day just it became habitual. I had to kind of switch that up. Um, say, not, I don't know. You know, so. Yeah, lots of water, lots of water. Me too, me too. Mm -hmm. And seltzer, water and seltzer. I'm big on seltzer. I love seltzer. The flavor, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's hard. Like, I, I, again, my goal right now, not to gain. Hopefully not gain. And then maybe I'll see if I can lose something. But it's hard. I mean, shit, we're not moving around like we used to. We're not running around. We're, like, kind of stagnant sometimes, you know. Even the work I do is in my house. So what am I doing? Just with the keyboards? So how much, how much exercise am I getting with the keyboards? So, yeah, hit the track. Do some laps. See what happens. This is getting fun. We're getting a nice little rhythm to this. It's like in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> oh, God. this technology. Is there a are you? Can you see outside? Is there? Because I'm telling you, last time this happened, it was because it was a storm. And it's been raining all day. Yeah. Um, it's not really raining where I am. It rained early. But I don't know. I thought maybe I wasn't connected to the internet. I checked. I have a connection. I don't know. I've dropped this phone a lot recently. Um, but I don't really go live often. So I don't know if this is just something with my phone or what. Okay. All right. Well, no biggie. No biggie. We're all learning. Believe me, I, I got to get a new phone. 
later this year. So my son tells me my phone's a piece of shit and I need to get a new one. So I'm having, you know, I've had issues with mine as well. So I'm just every, my whole technological, my technology is, is like my brain has been working nonstop, just learning all this shit. So, I mean, and the Instagram, you still there? I wonder if there's a difference between an Apple and an Android as far as this. There she she goes again. I don't know the rest of the world. You got all these little thingies over here. Some sparkle shit. I still got to learn what all these fucking icons are at the bottom. I'm the type of person that'll see these icons and I won't touch them because I'm scared of what it'll do. That's how fucking terrified I am of technology. That's why every time I do something, I always do it with my son because he knows what he's doing. But technology just fucking scares the shit out of me. Like, I just barely learned how to go Instagram live. Like, I know what to do. And I know how to get you on. But all these are little icons on the bottom always scare the shit out of me. So that's like, I don't know. But yeah. that's where I am. Have I'm you in watching any of the versus battles? Like any of the artists? Because they have a lot of artists doing no. battles. No. No. I haven't seen any verses. I just watch some, a couple of podcasts a week. What about I, Cancel J Balvin? Are you following that? Who? Cancel J Balvin. You know, Jay no. said something about Shakira. He kind of like dissed her. Yeah, this was <laughs> on Twitter last week. Oh, I got to look at that. Why did he say something about Shakira for? Well, he was, you know, he did a collaboration with the Black Eyed Peas because the Black Eyed Peas has an album coming out. So it was, they did, they had like a round table discussion. And the, uh, the guy from Will I Am was like, yeah, man, you know, Shakira, she's really a stickler when it comes to working. And Jay Balvin kind of shaded her a little bit. He was like, yeah, she want to do this and that, this and that. And you have to go back and look at it. And people were pissed because he felt like they were shading, um, that he was shading Shakira. And then they were like, you know, he, she paved the way for you. You don't have any talent. You don't have this, the queen. And like Twitter, it was a flirt. Like they attacked him. Cancel J Bob. You have to look it up. You have to look it oh, up. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Hell yeah. Because that's Colombia. Aren't you Colombia? Yeah. 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 It's my people. You better jump on this wave. I didn't. I'm going to ask my wife. Colombian community. See, really? See, my wife does all that pop. My, my wife does the Kardashians and watches Ellen and all those shows and, and everything. I'm more a uh, comedy. I, I watch um, Joey Diaz and Joe Rogan podcast podcast you know what i'm saying so but no i'm not into the i've never it's just too much like i want to be up to speed with some pop culture shit like i know the battles but i can never keep track i can't keep track of, there's all these verses i ba i basically catch what happens on facebook social media keeps me updated who's winning and who's losing the verses but I didn't see anything on Shakira, which is funny. I didn't see. I mm -hmm. I seen the verse. I get all the feedback from the verses, but I didn't get. I didn't see anything on Shakira. But that's the first thing I'm gonna check. So yeah, she's family. No mess with family. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go on. Um, you gotta go on Twitter. People were man. They attacked him big. Because time. she has a work ethic. Because she's a work. She's work. Really. Yeah. They were Damn. like, how dare, you shade, how dare you shade the queen? They were pissed. Yeah. Yeah, Colombians so. have an attitude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't fuck around. Mm -mm. Not when it comes to Shakira. Don't come for Shakira. I think Latinos, like Latinos communities with their, especially their females. I don't know if you remember back in the day, Selena. Remember when Selena passed away, Howard Stern said some stupid shit and he got death threats by the Mexican mafia. So 
just to give you an idea, Latina, you know, I think Latinos, they always say Latinos are fiery, uh, you know, a lot of energy, and yeah, in every which way. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if, if they had some death threats <coughs> for what they said for Sh to Shakira. As a matter of fact, I don't think it's the first time. I think she did something, if I remember correctly, I mean, she, yeah, because there's no other Colombians. It wasn't, um, it wasn't the actor. I think it was Shakira. I think she did like David Letterman or something. Try to run a stupid cocaine joke. One of those, of course, Colombian hacky cocaine joke that went wrong and, and then he caught some heat. So you got to be careful with the Latinos. Don't piss off the Latinos, especially when it comes to the women. So yeah, I think it was. I think it was. She, I think she caught some heat from from, uh, from David Letterman. He tried to do a Colombian cocaine joke, I think years ago, and he caught some heat. So yeah, good because people need to move on from these stereotypes and and come up with something else. You know, try to come up with some. People are tired of it. You know, it's hacky. It's it's, it's yeah. If I'm a comedian, it's so hacky. And as a Colombian, uh, you know, background. Uh, it's so fucking old. Yeah. It's so old and it's tiring. Right. I get it sometimes as an Uber driver and I'm like, I just roll my eyes. I'm like, really? That's yeah. all you know? Yeah. That's it? That's it, yeah. But I'm wondering, you see how COVID is affecting Brazil, right? No. Oh, you, we're, I'm a news junkie. So anything that's happening in the news, uh, COVID is ravaging Brazil and the president wow. is as dumb as Trump is denying it and people are dying. I'm wondering how is it affecting Colombia? I've spoken to my cousins over there. Um, nothing major. I mean, they're going through their, they're going through their motions, but I haven't heard nothing devastating. They just, you know, shortly after we, w we went through our stuff, they started, they went on lockdown. They've been on lockdown for a while. So nothing devastating uh, off the top of my head because I speak to my cousin in Jersey and I've called some cousins in Colombia. They're, they're basically like us. They're on lockdown, chilling, and just waiting. So I haven't heard anything. Um, no family members have caught it, which is, God, lucky. Uh, very thankful for that. But no, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't heard anything major, any, anything, you know, they're just – Standing by for shit to get back to normal. So, but yeah, I always um. Oh, let me get you back on. So this is a fun little game. Get in, get out. Get in, get out. Get in, get out. <laughs> we're we're having a fun game. Get in, get out. Get in, get out. Get out. Trying to be patient with the technology, you know. I know. I know. What can you really do? But um, you know what you might want to look into? You might want to look into voiceover work. There's a lot of work. I saw something today that you can speak English, you speak Spanish. There's opportunities out there for yeah. voiceover work. I know um, somebody was, I think, uh, not Alex Carabano, Oscar Colossos was trying to get into it. But for me personally, I make way more money in voiceover than I do in comedy. So it's wow. like pour all my efforts and attention and time into comedy, it doesn't make sense. I mean, people right. are six-figure incomes with voiceover work. Diver Do you have to take a voiceover class for that? You don't have to, but you want to, if you're stepping into a new industry, you want to be as educated as you can on all okay. the opportunities available to you. But I would encourage you to do it. I just saw no, something no. today. It was for um, Latino voice actors. Just when I was getting a good piece of information. Uh. Uh. <sighs> it's one of those days. Maybe it's the haircut. Maybe it's bad luck. Someone's trying to send me a message. Okay, not now. I'm busy. Uh, 
uh, I'm telling you, I, I think it's the, it's the haircut. It's bad luck. It's got to be the haircut. There she goes. You should really look into it. Um, no, I belong to a group called Voice Actors of NYC. I can invite you into the group so you can kind of familiarize yourself. Like, they're all different types of... Actually, you know what? The, um, on Friday, they're having an introductory class, and I think it's only $20. I can send you the information. The guy, um, his name is Rob Morera. He's, he's Hispanic, and he, he, like, most of his work is in English, but he gets, like, 30% in um, Spanish, and they're doing a workshop. I, I'll send you the information. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Okay. I'm, I'm totally down. I mean, I took a commercial class last year. I was supposed to I take the class and then start, you know, doing auditions and, and getting my feet wet, but unfortunately, my wife got cancer last year, so we got a little sidetracked. She's cool now, and I'll be taking, you know, I'm going to go back to that. And voice was definitely something I wanted to get into. I think you would be excellent. I think you would be excellent at it. Uh, English, yeah. Spanish, if there's a script, yeah, I can knock it out. But, you know, my Spanish isn't as fluent or perfect as English. But, yeah, I mean, I can talk, I can speak it as long as there's a script. But it gets, it gets a little choppy. It gets a little choppy. It's not perfect. Even my, some people tease me. Also, my Spanish dialect is, is all mixed, all right, because I was born here and raised in, in this New Yorican environment. My Spanish is made up of the Colombian Spanish, the Puerto Rican Spanish, Mexican, Ecuadorian. So my dialect is like all over the fucking place. If somebody hears me speaking Spanish, they're going to guess what country I'm from and they'll get street New York type Spanish. But, I, you know, I do have the Colombian in me as well, which is based the one I try to come out with. But I didn't have a Colombian family here. Grow, I didn't grow up with a Colombian family, so I never really absorbed it. I, ba I basically learned more Spanish from my friends and from watching Narcos than I did from, from my, my own mom, who didn't really teach me much Spanish to begin with. But anyway, that's another story. But no, hit me up. Shoot me the information. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, I'll send you the information. Um, so, so what type of person are you? Are you a pretty much a quarantine person? Or are you adventurous and would like go out to eat on a patio or something? What's your vibe? No, I'm, we're basically quarantined. Only recently did we, we didn't, the quarantine that we broke was within the family. So like if like, my sister-in-law was on lockdown for three weeks, a month. We were on lockdown for a month. Uh, like Memorial Day, we got together for a barbecue. But that's because we were both locked down for a month, and we know everybody's safe. So we brought that together. You know what I'm saying? So very. other than that, you know, that's it. That's it. Uh, we, uh, we went to Niagara Falls last weekend. I mean, we, I mean, we had to disappear. We got tired. So we figure it's not going to be busy. It'll be mostly empty. Let's just get some fresh air. We drove up there, stayed the weekend, drove back. It was pretty cool. Mostly everything was cold, was closed, uh, and it was pretty empty. So, but for the but we're not going to be going out anytime soon again. But we were just tired, and we had to like escape somewhere. Yeah. So we were thinking Atlantic City, Niagara Falls. We chose the falls because none of us has been there. But we're not too adventurous. We're not trying to play that game too much. Wifey is the only one working, so that's adventurous enough. So, yeah, we're quarantined, but my wife is working. And so she's out there four days a week. So that, I think that's enough. <laughs> we don't need to, you know, roll the dice anymore. Uh, but let's, I don't know, maybe we'll, if, if things go good, we'll go away in August. September. And safer. Uh, but I don't know. That's just everything is so up in the air. It's so up in the air. You just how the fuck do you plan it? You can't plan comedy. You can't plan a vacation. We we barely got to go away for a weekend. That was a miracle. Like, how do you plan anything? We don't. You don't know. You know. And the way uh, I don't watch much news. 
I watch the only news I watch is our, our governor from time to time. That's it. That's the only news I can bear. I can't stand all the negative and the politics. It's driving me nuts. I see it on social media. So, uh, but right now I'm just watching the cities, the other states. Uh, I called my buddy in Texas. He actually got Corona in Texas, and you know I chewed him out because I tweet, I spoke to him a month ago, and I'm like, "Yo, just chill. Don't do anything, and watch us." I said, "Watch. We're your guinea pigs. Just watch us. Do as we do, and and you guys will be okay." But that was two a couple months ago. You saw how the Midwest started acting up, you know, and, lo- and now what's happening? So that shit spreads. My my buddy caught it, but luckily he re- he rebounded. He only had it like a couple of days. He said, and he and he's back. But you see how it's spreading in Florida and Texas and all. And it's just nuts. It really it's a pisser. All they had to do was watch us. All they had to do was watch us and pay attention to our numbers. And what we're doing, we were their guinea pigs, and they fucked it up. That is such, it's a piss. I can't believe how, I don't know. It's like, duh, watch New York. We're we're number one in Corona. Just watch us. Look at our numbers. See what we do. How fucking hard is that? And now the numbers are skyrocketing in fucking, like, I don't know how many states. I know Florida and Texas. Absolutely. All right, let's let's wrap this up. Little thing. Oh, there we go. Go live with sunshine. Yes, I love to go live with sunshine. Waiting for Nikki Sunshine. Hello. Oh, I found a new, I found a different icon now. There it is. Yeah, I think What's if up? I put it off again, I'm just gonna sign off because this is yeah. like the same time. I think well, probably. Next time, I would use my computer. Um, because it's with, different. With it's different. Computer. You got if you use Instagram on your computer, it's a different program. So it's not that it's not this simple. So I somebody tried that last week. Jeff Lawrence tried it on his computer and it didn't work. You got to no. download a. You, you got to. It's a different. You got to download a different Instagram program or something. But no, it's well, not. Why I would say that is because I have an Ethernet connection with okay. my computer, so it would be a better connection, but. It's like yeah, you it's can find in the beginning when we're talking, but then just like yeah, it could start messing up shortly. You know, it's you can do it on a computer, but you just got to find that extra download right. app or some shit. I don't know the software, but listen, it's been great. Thank you for coming on, and Thank I'll get you. you on again. I'll get Hopefully. you on again. Hopefully next time I'll be able to stay on continuously. We had some good conversations, but they just no worries. Choppy. Say hi to Jamie. So I said, what's okay. up? Good luck. God bless to you guys and your family. Stay safe. Okie doke. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. There it is. There it is. The little circle. Usually it's the circle of life. This is like the circle of Instagram death. Once that little thing starts spinning around and you get frozen, that's it. It's a wrap. Boom. And that's it. All right. Whew. Thank you. Nikki Sunshine, thank you so much for hanging in there. She's a fighter. She's a fire. That's why I love her. She's been in the game for a long time. She's been in the trenches. She knows what she's doing. Totally fucking trust her. And she's a fighter. She didn't give up. She could have gave up on this interview 30 minutes ago. Fucking 99 times. 99 times she kept plugging in. I don't know. I think think it's the haircut. It's either the haircut or the weather. Some bad luck shit. But thank you, Nikki Sunshine. Uh, Again, shout out to Jamie and all your family. Guys, be safe. And God, I can't wait for us to do another show. I know we just did. I feel like we just did that show. Was it, I don't know, the beginning of this year or the end of last year? We did a lounge in Queens. Uh, yeah, I miss it. I totally fucking miss it. And I don't know where comedy's going. <sighs> I mean, I don't like to think about it. That's why I'm just focusing on, the, you know, the Instagram show, the Facebook show, the six feet, uh, six questions, and hopefully working in the podcast. Um, I don't know. Thinking about comedy is, is real scary. So cause I don't know where the fuck it's going. Nobody knows where it's going. Uh, and everyone's thinking about multiple jobs now. C- comedians are going to get, be getting jobs. It, that's, that's crazy. A lot of comics, full-time comics, are going to be getting full-time jobs. Or at least maybe a part-time job. Because uh, we don't know where this is going. So, scary times. But hey, stay strong. New York tough. That's how we do. Anyway, thank you for watching. 
Uh, it's another episode, Hot Pudge Wednesday, episode 15. It was a little bit rocky. The technology sucks, but we got through it. And stay tuned for another episode this Sunday. All right, Hot Pudge Sunday one-on-one. Not to be confused with Hot Pudge Wednesday one-on-one. Uh, yeah, so this Sunday, 8 o'clock. And if you miss an episode, go to Hot Pudge Sunday on YouTube. That's my YouTube channel, Hot Pudge Sunday. Hot Pudge Sunday my my YouTube channel, all right? So, hey. Take care. God bless. I'll see you guys. Next time you see me, I have a, hopefully I'll have a little bit more hair. It looks really bald. It looks bald in this light, but it's not. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get the Caesar thing going. Anyway, guys, be good.